I work on a game theoretic model uh, between the US, uh, European Union and China. Game theoretic means that uh, these countries are modeled as independent players, what they actually are. And uh, my idea, first I try to analyze economic uh, interactions between these economies. Later, I would like in a future research to extend it uh, to consider issues like uh, environmental, uh, security, uh, human capital and so on. First of all, you need to identify the players. Of course, uh, in this case it was quite easy, free countries, free economies, and I want to uh, analyze uh, economic uh, interactions between them. In the second step, you need to identify some dynamic system which evolves, which describes this uh, behavior between these uh, players, and then it's like technical issue to find solutions. So game theory allows explicitly for considering cooperative and what's interesting about it is to consider non-cooperative solutions. Non-cooperative means uh, players care in, first of all, they care about own interest and uh, don't take directly into account the spillovers of their decisions uh, to other players. Trump administration with import tariffs and America First strategy, it's a best example of a non-cooperative uh, solution of a non-cooperative behavior. You, you need to assume what are the targets of the players. If, if these are really their targets, then uh, the uh, prediction of the dynamics with which you predict. Of course, you cannot uh, exactly predict the numbers, but you can predict the path, how, what happens. If these assumptions are close to the reality, then uh, it works very well. If governments are interested in something else, not what they really say, then you cannot really predict what, what's the best outcome. Uh, what I do, of course, some uh, sensitivity analysis later on. I just check uh, how sensitive the outcomes to the assumption uh, which I put at the beginning. So at least it gives you an idea of what, what would happen. You know what's, what are more sensitive assumptions. Usually cooperative solutions give better, better performance for the whole system. But of course, in reality, people care about their own interest. It's somehow natural for a human being. And uh, the question more uh, tricky is about uh, uh, can uh, taking spillovers into account. So this is the most important part of uh, difference between cooperative and non-cooperative. And so in many cases, non-cooperative solution it's uh, somehow natural. What what we see around us, non-cooperative solutions are more realistic to describe what's going on in the world. And that's my why I love to work with game theory because it it's, it allows to to take it into account.